In this demo, we'll walk you through the process of creating lingerie and v-stitcher. We'll start with simple fabric changes and pattern manipulation to the panties, followed by adding a wire and a wire frame to a bra. Let's begin with a fabric change to the panties. Right now, the panties are covered in all-over lace. In the Resources tab, I'll use one of these jersey fabrics. To replace a fabric, you can just drag and drop this on top of the existing one. The fabric is instantly replaced. I'll now do the same to the back side to create an entirely different look. Now we'll assign a 3D trim of a ribbon. We can also drag and drop it into the 2D or the 3D window using the 3D gizmo tool. Then we can rotate and place it wherever we want. There we go! Now, let's create a simple pattern change using the pen tool. We can see that the panties don't sit nicely and tightly around the bottom area. To fix that, I'll create a line using the pen tool. You can either draw in the 2D or in the 3D window. Select the line and create a cut mark. Now I can move the line, bring it closer to the seam itself, and add shrinkage. So I can either do this as a percentage or as a specific target length. I've chosen to do it as a percentage. Let's change it to 40% and update the simulation. Now we can see the shrinkage and gathering around the bottom creates a better fit. I'll hide the lines from the 3D view to see the results more clearly. I think the line should be closer to the seam, so I'll unhide the lines view and drag it closer to the seam. This looks great! Now that the panties are ready, let's move on to the bra. I'll enlarge the 2D window to better view all the patterns. This file is created to have a wire, so there are already pre-existing patterns for the wire that I can use. With the insert tool, I'll insert the wires. There are many different wires that I can choose from. So as I click through, you can instantly see the different wire shapes and choose your preferred wire. If you don't find a suitable wire, you can always take a picture of the wire you want to insert, retrace it, and import it in here. I'll use this basic wire and click Create. Now we have a wire for both the left and the right in the 2D window. I'm just going to place it roughly where it needs to go. Now I need to add the wire channel. So, in order to do that, I will place these two pieces together. I'll use Snap to Point to ensure they snap together. Then I'll select this top line and hit Shift to select the other line. I'll then create clone edges by offset. The default value is 1 cm, but you can change the value depending on your preference. Hit Apply to create another line. Now we can see that the line extends across the pattern piece, which we don't want to happen, so I'll select the lines again and click on the Extend Shrink to Edges. I'll then use the Extract tool under the Insert tool to create a separate pattern piece for the wild channel. If I hover over the pattern, the yellow field is the part that will be extracted. Let's select both sides, then double click, and we get a new pattern piece for the wire channel. First, I'll replace the fabric, and remove these extra points. To create the piece for the other side, I'll use Symmetry X, and any change will be on both sides. Before moving on to sewing, I will need to arrange the new pieces of the wire channel. In the Arrange mode, I'll drag and drop the pieces where they need to go. For a better view, I'll click Tab to bring up the 3D window, and we can also see the channels here. We can now start sewing these together. I have already sewed it in advance. We need to stitch the wire to the wire channel, and then the wire channel to the bra cup so that it sits inside. I also need to make sure that this wire channeling is on a lower layer to the bra cup, as we want the wire channel to sit inside. Perfect! I'll now upload the new file with the wire, the wire channel, and the updated panties and we'll easily create new colorways by cloning this colorway. First, let's upload the white colorway. Let's clone it. I can now create changes without affecting the original one. To change the colors, simply drag and drop different colors to the patterns in the 2D or 3D window. To ensure that I have all the pieces colored, you can choose the color on the color palette and bring it over the white. So now everything that is white will be in this purple color. To create more colorways, let's move to the colorway workspace. 
Here you can see all the changes you've made and all the colorways you have. We can go and change the names, so for example, I can change this one to purple. I can easily add as many more colors as I want, simply by choosing any colorway, cloning it, and changing the color. I can drag and drop a new color from my color palette. Just make sure to hit refresh to see the changes. To see an overview of the colorway, we can go to the grid view. You can change the layout size, edit the names, and you can also change the order of the colorways accordingly to create a color range build. So once you're happy with all of these, we can now go back to our home workspace and start rendering our garment. We can either create a turntable, which is basically a 360 view of the garment, or we can select separate images. The rendering can be done remotely or locally to your computer, and you can include or exclude the avatar. The multi-pack option will give you a lineup of the whole color range that we've just created in one render. This option saves us a lot of time because you don't have to go into Photoshop or Illustrator to create this lineup. We can space these out differently using the X, Y, and Z axis properties. And there you have it! You can now easily conduct pattern changes to design better fitting panties, create wires and wire channels for bras, and utilize the Colorways workspace. For more details, visit our Help Center at help.browseware.com.